Recording in progress. Congratulations, Coach. Everybody's so excited. What was the difference in how you handled Chris Paul in the fourth? Um, we just tried to throw different looks at him, be aggressive, um, tried to deny him the ball at times. But, you know, it, it was just a collective effort from all of our guys um, having more of a mindset and a focus on not allowing uh, Chris in the fourth quarter to dominate the game, which he, he's done and he's capable of doing. Uh, so we're just proud of, of the overall effort. And your goal of getting Jonas Valanciunas going certainly was accomplished. What worked there for you? We just threw the ball down to him, and he did the rest. Um, but it's important for us to, to establish Jonas in the post. Um, he's one of our anchors offensively. Uh, it gets him going. It wears the rest of their guys down. And um, I thought he did a great job of just trying to capitalize on his opportunities. You guys talked about being more disruptive in the lead up to this game. How do you think you guys did uh, in, in terms of that in the second half? I thought we did solid. Like we were, we were on on point. Our game plan discipline was pretty good. They're a tough team, and they make you bring it. And we're proud of our guys. Uh, the effort, the energy. We competed at a high level for 48 minutes. What kind of competitive fire does uh, Herb Jones play with? Uh, it's, it's unlimited amount of competitive fire that he has. Uh, he's a quiet guy at, in nature, but on the floor, he he's aggressive. He's all about it. Um, he's into guys, and you can see it come out when he and Chris and other guys were getting into it. He just he was just battling. Yeah, I like to ask the same thing about Jose and what he was able to do with his competitive fire in that fourth quarter. Yeah, same thing from Jose. Um, he just got in the game and kind of just tore the game up. <laughs> the nine guys. Um, you know, being aggressive defensively, getting underneath their skin, and uh, he, he's frustrating to play against. And that's just how we have to play. There's no other way. We have to play hard like that every time we step on the floor. And uh, it was good to see our guys respond the way we did tonight. Yeah, and I feel like I've asked you some form of this question like a million times this year. But I mean, two rookies, you know, taking on that challenge against Chris Paul, you know, with all the accomplishments, all accomplishments he has in his career. Just what do you think about the job they did against him tonight? You know, just collectively as a team, um, our guys went out and played hard, played together. And uh, we're just tremendously blessed to have Jose, to have Herb, two guys that was defensive player of the year in their conference, that does the same thing here. They, they love playing defense. They have great instincts. And they go out and compete like that every time they step on the floor. Going back to the JV, what did you like about the, the, the rotational switch that you get to, to put him against Javel uh, for so many of those minutes and kind of let him kind of take over on those second units? It was just something we went back and looked at. Um, coaching staff did a great job of pointing out that, you know, Larry was a bit better um, with Aiden being able to move and be able to get to his contested jump shot, that mid range shot that he gets off pick and rolls, and um, giving JV more of a look on Javel. And um, I thought. It looked pretty good. We'll go back and watch the tape. But overall, just great effort um, from JV. Like I said, he dominated 15 rebounds. And um, that's that's what we have to do. We have to throw the ball to him a, a bit more. I think the foul count was, it was plus 12. Uh, the free throws, I think, were plus 27. I know sometimes when you see that, though, coaches could say one thing. But from, from your perspective, was that just your guys just being ultra aggressive today? And was that part of the game plan? For sure. We were being aggressive. We had a mindset that we wanted to get into the paint. We want to get to the free throw line. They dominated the paint last game. They had 64 points in the paint. So we were well aware that we we have to do better in that area. One more for me. Uh, sorry. Going to, to campaign, it seemed like when, when he was in there, it was a little bit of a different coverage than what you had on, on Chris. How big was that change to kind of treat them a little bit different and throw even more things at them? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I have to go back and watch. I'm not sure what, what we were doing at that time, but Cam Payne is another guy that is, is speedy uh, in the open floor. He, he, he can get to the lane and basket easily. Uh, we just, like I said, we, we have to throw this team different looks. They've seen it all, um, made a deep run into the finals last year. All of these guys are better, and we have to keep them off balance like we did tonight. Coach, another big night from Brandon Ingram. How valuable has his consistent impact been throughout this series? Extremely valuable. Um, Brandon is playing some of his best basketball of the season, and he's doing it on the biggest stage. 
uh, it's great to see. And he's capable, more than capable. Um, I've said it before, he, he's the real deal. And he goes out on the floor. He puts the work in in practice. And, and we're, we're seeing it on display. Coach, how big was B.I.'s uh, start of the second half? He seemed to really set the tone, right? It's three buckets, and then he assisted two others. It was great. Uh, I could see that his mindset right away was, I'm going to get us going. And, and that's what he did. Uh, and he has moments where I can kind of see it in his eyes that he's going, and I just try to move out the way and, and let him do what he does. The crowd seemed particularly feisty tonight. I mean, there was singing, there was uh, chants, there was all sorts of stuff. I mean, how much does that matter to you guys playing in, in this building and being able to, to really bring that out of, of this group? I love New Orleans. I love the people here. Um, that was amazing. I mean, the, the Jose chant, uh, it was all kind of stuff going on. Hard for me to focus on exactly what they were saying, but I know they're rooting for us. They're behind us. And, and that's a team that hopefully our city, our community can be proud uh, to root for. Hey, well, this team started the playoffs as a number nine seed. Now you're in a two out of three with the best team in the NBA. What does it just say about this team? You know, it's it's. I've, I've said it, and I'll continue to say it. Um, it's God, man. To be honest with you, we 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 keep that as our foundation, um, making sure that we put the focus on God, um, making sure that whatever we do, we do it together. We work hard at it. We want to compete, uh, but we we enjoy the journey and the process. And uh, it's it's great to see it all pay off with our group, our organization our players, our coaching staff, performance team, medical team, um, just across the board, it's great to see. Thank you. Recording stopped.